Hi, this is Nat Needle in Worcester. This is really hot off the press, so rough take, but I'm a man in a hurry, and we're going into the eighth week, uh, starting this weekend, we're going to the eighth week of the St. Vincent's Hospital nurses' strike, and uh, <clears throat> most of us here know that the hospital is a, a for-profit hospital owned by the Tenet, T-E-N-E-T, Tenet uh, Corporation, whose main tenet is profit at any cost. Please, those shareholders, um, shareholders first, patients, valuable, yes, of course, they bring the money in, but patients, um, second to profit. So this is about that. And um, yeah, if this reaches and uh, this lifts the spirits of even one striking nurse, I'll be so happy. But, or and, you know, um, if it just reaches you and leads you to do something to support the nurses in your own way, that's terrific too. Let's try to keep it slow. Standing right beside that good St. Vincent's nurse, the love and care they give, no one can reimburse because it's worth more than the whole wide universe. So, tenant it loosen your swollen corporate purse. Some better money's nice, and benefits are too. The better patient cares what nurses need from you. A lighter patient loads the hope of every nurse. So, tenant, loosen your swollen corporate purse. Hey, tenant, if you're sick of hearing all this first, why don't you dwell on this when you're inclined to curse it? For the ones you love got worse and worse and worse. What kind of care would you crave from that St. Vincent's nurse? Standing right beside that good St. Vincent's nurse, the love and care they give, no one can reimburse, because it's worth more than the whole wide universe. So, tenant, loosen your swollen corporate purse. I'm standing right beside that good St. Vincent's nurse, the love and care they give. No one can reimburse because it's worth more than the whole wide universe. So, Ted and Lucy, your swollen corporate purse. Hey, Ted and Lucy, your swollen corporate purse. Let them have it. Stay strong. So many of us are in solidarity with you, St. Vincent's nurses.